Please watch the video in high quality. In this video, we will learn how to use Unity profiling. So currently I have a simple script called random cube, which is attached to the main camera. And if we open this script, it's just taking a cube uh, and uh, random, randomly uh, creating it every five millisecond using a coroutine function. So if I click, click play, And turn, you can see that the cubes randomly are generated and filling up the screen quickly, like so. And if I activate the stats uh, tab, and you can see information like, like the current frame per second ratio and the CPU time in milliseconds. We can show the profiling window through window analysis and then profiler. There's it. Uh, I make sure that the uh, red uh, button for uh, 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 record profiling information is on. And then uh, to, 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 to start the the profiling or the record of profiling, I could click the play button and let the game play for two seconds or so and you see the information in the, in the profile start being generated and I could just uh, escape or exit the play. The top part of the profiler is the CPU usage which contain a chart of various operations and how they use the CPU. The left side of uh, it has the color key of these operations and you can toggle them on and off to view each single operation. The spike in the graph, you could select them by left click and they show when an operation take up more time in a specific frame. So when selecting a spike, uh, you could note the CPU to see uh, in the uh, time in milliseconds the frame took to complete. Uh, and if you multiply your target frame per seconds by 1000, one you will reach the required milliseconds budget per frame that you're aiming for. The bottom half of the profile show a visual breakdown of each frame selected here and you could select the timeline, make sure it's selected from the uh, drop down to and scroll uh, using the scroll, mouse scroll to zoom in and out. You can see there are alternate uh, tabs, one editorial loop and one is a player loop. Uh, the player loop represent everything running in the game uh, itself and the editor loop represent everything having to run the game in the editor. We been, we're going to focus on the player loop and we could zoom in and zoom out to, 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 to see different operations. So the bars in the player loop represent operations for the selected frame over here in color corresponding to the CPU usage color code over here. Uh, and they are ordered by the length of time taken by each operation. You could uh, click on each of the bars uh, to view the details and time taking and the, taken in milliseconds and the number of instances. In this case, you know, see in, in our code, we have 120 uh, instances. And we can see uh, that this part is related. It's taking a big uh, uh, chunk of time uh, within that frame, within that peak, and it's uh, it's related to our core routine. Core routine so that's something to for us to pay attention to. And we can profile a specific section of the code by adding uh, a specific code. Uh, we'll see that. So if I dock down the profiler and we'll open our script. I'll start by adding the profile name space using unity engine dot profiling. 
and then the part where we need to make a profile which is in this case the core routine uh, round cube um, for round cube method uh, i'll start before that uh, part of the code calling profiler dot begin sample and we'll pass a, a proper tag that we could refer or see check later we'll have it the same name of the method we want to uh, check in the profiler just for clarity and at the end of the section we need to pro finish profiling we call profiler dot end sample now i can save and go back to our editor and now in the profiler i could click uh, clear or clear on a play and uh, click the play button and uh, so that the profile can start recording data as so and then after a few seconds i could just escape the playing and in the profiler i could select one of the peak points and uh, check in the bars and you could notice that this is the the, the bar we added around cube and here we can select our uh, uh, um, a tag we added to uh, to check so if i select it and uh, change the uh, select from the drop down hierarchy you will see that that function or the tag we selected or we set it's already uh, been selected in the hierarchy and here we could trace information on it including the time per millisecond spent on that particular uh, section we we uh, tagged over here this part so if you if we view again in the timeline we could see that this part is taking relatively uh, big uh, time to generate the random cube function is taking relatively big time so we could um, go back to the code and revise and see if that could fix the issue So to start with, uh, you could notice that we don't even need to put the call the core routine from the update. We could just call it from the start and that would save us a lot of uh, energy on the CPU and time. And if I click save and also if we could do um, some uh, simplification to the code just to notice the, the, the CPU usage. Uh, in terms of um, and instead of uh, cl uh, creating all these uh, random cube if we just keep one cube instead so we'll remove uh, uh, we keep the yield and we will remove the cloning part so and instead we'll keep we'll um, comment out this line and we'll keep the random position line and instead of cloning uh, a, a new cube we just gonna set the current cube uh, position to the random position so not not generating many cubes just one cube so okay cube don't transform dot position equal and position and we'll save just to see what's the impact for now so if i save and um go back to uh to, to our profiler make sure to uh, click clear or clear on play make sure the dot for recording is on and now i'm gonna click play again to start recording for the new modifications and so once that is done i'll just press uh, or escape the play button and we'll maximize the 
profile allowed to see the, the, the impact or the difference. So you see the big spawn points are more settled now as opposed to they were much higher before. And by select them, you could check the CPU timing spent and the player loop and, and you could uh, select the um, uh, you can notice that uh, the function or the method or the part that we set before to trace which random cube is it used to have a big chunk or its bar it used it was significant very big but currently it's not even noticeable so that saved us a lot of uh, energy and timing on the CPU and if we go to the hierarchy you can see our random cube is taking much less energy and timing compared to previously so there it is this is how you could uh, use a profiling in unity to uh, to uh, enhance the performance or of your code or or app thank you Please like, subscribe and click the notifications button to help me make more videos like this.